Hi guys, lots has happened this week so in terms of football, of course, Champions League, Premier League, so much we have to talk about. I'm Leonie and this is Hope Meets Benta. Welcome to a very busy week. We've got new faces in it here on my couch. Feels like new because I haven't seen you forever. It's Who been a while. It's been a while. You guys don't know. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Come on, man. <laughs> it's Matt in the house. So good to have you back. Thank and you. Callum, of course, always good to have you Thank on the show. And Drifty, you. yes. Thanks for being a steady person and showing up every week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gotta be I'm I'm appreciated. I'm <laughs> Um, and since you're sitting right next to me, let's let's talk about your club, huh? Let's talk a little bit about Champions League and Liverpool, kind of a bit what happened, and then of course we're gonna uh, take a little preview as well. Um, Liverpool two zero Porter, are you happy? Do you think this uh, will give them enough confidence to, you know, go ahead and then also beat uh, some very confident-looking Hazards uh, in <laughs> playing for Chelsea? Do you think two zero is enough? I'm I'm feeling a little bit like Callum. I'm I'm feeling greedy. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to go to Porto with like no hope of them coming back. Like I wanted three or four. Two nil's a very good lead though. Two nil, they didn't get the away goal, which obviously means that if we score a goal, we're kind of through basically. That was that's always a good thing. If, if you're playing at home, yeah. you always want that. But the Mane just offside third goal. Like if Salah had maybe gone down. I know people yeah. are calling him a yeah, diver, yeah, yeah. you dickheads. He's not a diver. Yeah. That was a clear and obvious foul, and he stayed on his feet to try and score. Divers don't do that. If that's back in the day, Didier Drogba or Hazard or one of them, man. Yeah. They would have clean, took yeah, that yeah, hit, yeah. gone down, got the guy the red card. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it would have been totally different. Yeah. So shout out to Mo for having the, the courage to stay on his feet. If, but if that had gone in, there's a few little times during the game, like Firmino's volley, if that had gone in. Mm. It was very difficult, though, left foot. But if that had gone in... Yeah. 3-0, I would have thought, it's a wrap. 2-0 is a slightly scary scoreline. I think that looked solid, though. What do you think, Matt? You know, I think... what I get what you're saying. Like, if we're being greedy, mm. then you yeah. want to pack these guys up and send them home with no hope. Mm. But we've kind of let them off the hook a little bit. I'm still confident, though. Like, 2-0 for me is good enough against Porto. Like, as good as Porto are... I'm confident. I think, yeah, 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 yeah confident. I think as good as they are, I think... We should be going there, still feeling confident that we should be able to just kill off this tie now. And I think we just about done enough. But I will say this though, they had a good player on the night, Mariga, their striker. He was causing a lot of problems and he kept Van Dijk kind of on his throughout the game. I cannot lie mm -hmm. to you. So I think Anfield intimidated him at home. He won't miss those chances. Yeah, so I, I do think we've got enough. I think we've done enough and I'm, I'm, I'm expecting my team to go through. So. Yeah. Callum, do you reckon the uh, uh, Porto's going to show a different face yeah, at I'll, home? I'll be honest. Um, I don't want to... These might be famous last words, but I'm not I'm not really worried. Like I think 2-0 is absolutely fine. We've gone there with a lead. Um, I think we'll dominate over there. And I think the fact that it's 2-0 and not a scoreline that's way out of the existence of them thinking they can come back, they'll actually invite pressure onto us which will mean we can use our counter attacking prowess on them as well I think also having Robertson back at left back in that game will be a massive help Robo, yeah. um, Milner didn't do badly but it's not the same quality mm. you just you mm. just notice the difference in quality 100%. so I think Robertson coming back in obviously Virgil I'd like to see Mati play instead of Lovren personally but mm. again Lovren didn't have a bad game either so mm. I can understand why Klopp rotated there but I'm, I'm more than confident we'll go there and I'd I don't see us even losing on the night, to be honest. All right, cool. Okay, well, this whole thing looked a bit different for Manchester City, didn't it? Uh oh. Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that was a game. Uh, I'm, yeah, I mean, I, I guess you're pretty sure you've all seen it, so we don't really need to go through it in detail. But I mean, we had everything, right? Last minute goals, we had denied uh, penalties, we've got K now. Um, it, it was really crazy. And, and I was just thinking, not only for Champions League, now for Manchester City, it's not looking that great anymore but also does this scratch their egos for Premier League and performing at home what do you guys think mm, I hope so with City it's like we spoke about off camera like if it wasn't for those two lucky goals they come in home losing to Schalke in mm. the last round yeah, yeah, yeah they got moved to by Leon in the group and now you got this there's something about them in Europe 
is like they hear the Champions League music and they get boomy. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what yeah. it is. Like, let's Pressure. be real. Pressure. Even though we're a good team, we should have never dealt with them the way we did last season in yeah. the Champions League. We we actually embarrassed them. We beat them four, no five one on aggregate. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. embarrassed them. They're champions Crazy, of England, yeah. and we actually embarrassed. Something about Europe doesn't sit right with them. Yeah, Pep doesn't have a really good record. What do you think? They're the English Can't PSG. Really. The English PSG. They That's just, a good way to put they it. They literally. Right, you're going that deep. Yeah. The English PSG, you know. <laughs> they are. They've Boy. got all the money in the world. Mm. Apart from this season where we've kept up with them, they've they dominated the league. Yeah. No one else can match them for spending power. They've arguably got the best acquired squad in the league. Mm. But the Champions League, they just it all crumbles. It all crumbles. And I expect. I actually thought they'd go. I thought they'd beat Tottenham, but obviously they didn't. And it's like. I don't, you can't blame it on Pep because you've, you've seen it with Mancini, you've seen it with Pellegrini. So mm. it's the players there. There's something missing from the players mentally. And even Aguero, like Aguero for me is the best striker in the Prem. He is, undoubtedly. Like, but in the Champions there, League, no he's contest. not the same. Yeah, he's, yeah. Not the same. For me. he's not the same player in the Champions mm. League. So it's a mental block. But if, if City get over the mental block against Tottenham, then Tottenham are in big trouble. But didn't we just talk about him as well? What a good penalty shooter he is. Didn't we not literally yeah, yeah, just say that yeah. last Listen, week or yeah, the week before? Yeah. And then he missed. Like, I mean, they're all human, hey. And like, you know, it's every time there's a lot of pressure. So I don't, you know, never want to be in their boots. But that's crazy, man. He's done this so many times. It's always Europe he misses the penalties. Like, I'm trying to think of all the times he's missed the penalty. And it's normally Europe, right? Yeah, yeah. He, don't, well, don't, he don't miss in the Listen, prep. I'll be real, yeah. Aguero, for me, He's still the best striker in the Premier Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not yeah, questioning his ability. I get what you lot yeah. are saying. Like, when it comes to, like, Europe, he does struggle. I think there's something... I don't know. Maybe it is a mental thing. Because Gundogan yeah. come out today and said, like, oh, I think, like, mentally, like, when, we, when we're when we in the Champions League, we're just not the same team. But I'd like to point to the fact that people are forgetting. Remember, this is Spurs' first um, home game for the Champions League in their new stadium. Yes. That probably played a massive factor. Remember, yeah, the yeah. crowd are up for it. The players are up for it. They want to prove something. And that's respect to them. Exactly. Yeah. And remember, Kane got injured, yeah? So they're probably saying to... Probably like, looking at each other thinking, listen, we need to show people it's not just about Harry Kane, you know? Yeah. Like, they've got other players. And I think some people were writing them off thinking, oh, if Kane don't play, if Kane don't do nothing, Tottenham can't win. It's like, you have Son. You have Ali. You Listen, Son yeah. is our bad boy, you know? I'm actually hoping that the owners have a little look at him and place a little bid because they got a few players at Tottenham. I wouldn't mind a little. Mm. I wouldn't uh, mind a little son hey, at Liverpool. I had I'm telling. Contract in it. <laughs> Twenty-five mil. Oh, you got his eyes. Twenty-five mil for Adam Arrow. Yeah. I'll be honest. I think although Kane is a fantastic striker, mm. I just seem to think that when he doesn't play, I think Tottenham as a unit look better. Do you think so? I think. Wow, I think a, they that's, do. That's, I know, my, but that's not me saying Kane's not great. He's fantastic. One of my other goalkeeper, I always back Kane. But when he doesn't play, they just seem a lot more fluid. It's almost like they they don't look to him to produce all the time. It's like yeah. they could share the load. Could that be because they play Son up front and he's got pace, and you can't really play to the strengths of someone you know with pace what? with Kane because he doesn't have pace. <sighs> so maybe that might be why they look more fluid. Yes. Kane is Kane is a more to feet or whip the ball in type of striker. Son is a, you can through ball it and he can run onto it type of striker. You know, so it might, that maybe that's why they seem a bit... Maybe, do you know what is? I was going to say, like, I think with Kane, I think we spoke about this before, like, off air as well, when he plays, it's almost like he has to be the focal point. Mm. Whereas when he don't play, it's kind of like, I don't know, like, when, yeah, as you said, when, he don't, when Kane don't play, the team just... They, they don't up. just look for Kane. Yeah, they step up. Mm. I think that's what it is. I think other players think we can mm. do this. Mm. When Kane's there, we have to get the ball to Kane. Yeah, All yeah, the time it's yeah, Kane, yeah. Kane, Kane. And man, that's what I yeah, said to you. Yeah. I would love to see what Harry Kane can do in another club because I do feel like the system is catered towards to get the best out of him. And that's going to be no matter where he goes. But no, but it's sacrificing other players. That's why I think they showed a record the other day of um of Son. They showed Son's record with and without Kane. And it was kind of drastically chalk different. Cheese, yeah, yeah it's chalk, chalk and cheese, you know. Okay, well, we shall see um, how they perform uh, away against Manchester City and we'll mm. see what comes up then. But so, because yeah. uh, there's no point me coming back. Yeah. I'm worried what I thought was going to happen is happening, though. I said, I bet you any money. 
Tottenham will win one of these three games and it'll be the game that doesn't matter. Yeah. They'll win at home, then get fucked both times on the, <laughs> uh, on, at the Etihad and they'll go out the Champions League, they'll win the league game and there'll be no... Yeah. And I, I'm scared that what I thought was going to happen is already happening. You never know though, because is the league game at the Etihad or is it at the It's at the Etihad, bro. Oh, so I'm scared now. This win was for nothing. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Like, like, <laughs> yeah, nah, it might be a wrap. Not. Come on, Tottenham! <laughs> was it? it was 3-1 at White Hart Lane in the league, innit? Or something like that. I think so. Oh well, let's go. We'll Come on, Tottenham, prove it to us. Um, and just while we're at this topic in, in Champions League, of course, we had two other games. We've got Ajax against Juventus. We had Manchester United versus Barcelona. I so wish I could have, you know, gloated now with you know Ajax winning because they looked so good. Because I said that we said we said I, right that they can do it. They, they yeah, look it's a young they team versus the experienced over, team. Um, it. But won, yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't enough. It wasn't <coughs> enough. But but anyway, what what you, what you guys think? I mean, Ronaldo's header was definitely an amazing goal. But I think that, you know the young team they were really you know trying real hard and, and proving proving themselves. Yeah. Actually, that goal was about the pass. Yeah. Everyone's gonna start kissing Ronaldo's ass. <laughs> they the keeper, always do. The they keeper should have saved the header. Let's be honest. He actually got his whole palm. Yeah, in the yeah. hand. How did he not stop that? But I don't want to be a hater because everyone's gonna try and come for me. That goal was about the pass. That pass was wonderful. It was. Even the vision of yeah, watching of the run across yeah, that yeah, distracted yeah, the defender, knowing Ronaldo was making the run, the, the ball was phenomenal. Yeah. That was all about the pass for me. The header is like, it's just the icing on the cake. Yeah. yeah that yeah. pass. That was like a Gerard. Remember back Gerard in the day? To Owen. Yeah, Gerard that to was Owen. like a Gerard to Owen. Gerard Pass, to Torres, then we're there, bro. Listen, I'll be real with you. Listen, I know you're right about the pass. The pass was amazing. Mm. But you can't take it away from Ronaldo. Bro, the man's a machine, bro. He's a magnet. Yeah, but box. you're never going to get me to big. There's no reset button on the machine, you know? There's no reset Straight button. Face. You're yeah. never going to get me to Bro, I'll be real with you. Imagine having a PC, there's no reset button, just pure power. Just power, power, power. You can't even turn it off. You can't turn it off, bro. bro. Let, let's not guess. No, bro, no, no, no. We have to be real and yeah, put some respect on my man. I'm not even a Ronaldo fan, but, bro, Especially. what he's done in the Champions League. Like, bro, bro 95, <laughs> 95 goals in like 120. 97, 97 in, in 125. No, no, 97 career. Was it his career goals or headers? I think it was 97 it was headers. headers. 97 headers. headers. He's got 170 You're something lying. Champions League goals. Headers. Mad. It was yeah, yes, it was like that, yeah, it was like 80 something headers. So you're, you're, so you're making my point. Forehead, bro. Forehead. This part of the, the this bro, part that's of the mad. body. That's a madness. <laughs> mad. That's mad. I don't like Ronaldo. Bro. You I might not like, like him, but bro. Well, no, but but it's also quality. to undermine your point. I mean, if you think, if you look at kind of possession, if you look at a passes, Ajax definitely had more of those dominated. Yeah, yeah, but you know, yeah. through, through the experience, and then also when they had the opportunity, it was always a really close call. And mm-hmm. Ajax gave it away a couple of times. I mean, there was a couple of nice goals. It was so close, but yeah, they just didn't yeah, finish. Yeah. One the, thing, Ronaldo the, finishes, man. You just, you're done. Yeah, and, you and this is yet. what I'm saying about Ronaldo. And this goes back. To, uh, the man ain't here, but he's here in spirit. Double H has always yeah. said. He's a phenomenal goal scorer. Yes, he's yes, that's what we're player. saying. No, I no, no but pe- but people get carried away and say he's the best player ever. No, no, and, no, no, and no, that's no, the not. bit where you've got to no. like okay, shut fair. the fuck up. Like, I know it sounds rude. The, the phenomenal difference. goal scorer. The guy phenomenal can, goal scorer. The guy, the guy can do amazing on the spot step overs, and yeah, he's and an amazing pass, goal yeah. scorer. But when it comes to actual player. Don't put him in a category with some of the greatest players we're talking about because all the guy does is get in the box at the right time. He doesn't get involved in the game for the but rest of the game. One thing I will say, though, one thing I will say, though, is that I think that's been over a period of time because I think when he started, when he went to Real Madrid playing in that left wing, he was a bit more involved in build-up. He, was, he, did, he did more step-overs, that's what I'm saying. No, like, but you can't... <laughs> No, bro, Ronaldo is just a step over. You can't just say he's just step over. He was just step over. Nah, bro. nah, you disrespect Ronaldo. Every time you watch a skill of Ronaldo, it's step over. Bro, can't come on. You I can't see, say I that. See, I saw it right, let's not make this whole show about Ronaldo, Ronaldo, shall we? Right, let's, let's move on from Ronaldo. He gave Ashley Cole groin surgery, fam. <laughs> Once, Ashley Cole <laughs> pocketed groin Ronaldo surgery, more bro. than Ronaldo. If you give a man groin surgery, <laughs> serious, bro. What is groin surgery? Let's not talk about groin surgery. Ashley Cole got worked, bro. Quick, quick, quick thoughts. Callum, maybe you, what do you think about Manchester United, Barcelona? I loved it. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. <laughs> like, <laughs> all I was hearing about is, oh, Rashford's gonna do this and Pogba. No, like you're Pogba up against what? the real team. Like, fair, fair. Matt Tomlin against Messi. Behave. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what's, what, bro, like, I heard people say my Tommy had an amazing game. Nah, like, I just saw him chasing shadows. Yeah, bro. If Ollie's at the wheel, then Ashley Young's the mechanic. So. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Such a boring uh, I, game. I, I like the metaphor. <laughs> that was okay. so boring. That oh, <laughs> so boring. young, okay. you know. Okay, yeah. Let's move on. Fine. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see the second legs coming up. I, I thought it was really exciting times. Champions League, actually, really. 
enjoyed watching it. Um, let's let's uh, stay a bit in the international kind of sphere. Um, Real Madrid, right? I think we should quickly mention this again. We've got uh, now Zinedine Zidane back on board. We talked about this before, but I think um, maybe we could single out ben Benzema. He's a Frenchman, right? Um, will he be potentially be given a chance again? Do you reckon under Zidane, uh, Zidane to be the number one striker again, or should he get that chance? Yeah. What do you guys reckon? You think? Yeah, I, th I think he, I think he's made a scapegoat too often, mm -hmm. and it's not fair on him. The boy's still got techers. He's still got he's something thir to offer. He's thirty-one years old. And I feel like the only yeah. reason why players like Ronaldo were doing as well as they were doing was because Benzema used to do a lot of unselfish stuff. I don't think it's fair to just go, oh, because Benzema doesn't score twenty goals a season, he's shit. He still gets good numbers. He still. I don't know if any of you lot saw the game um, two like weeks two ago goals. when he mm. scored. Like, like he was the only one. Five, yeah, but he's not clinical, clinical. We know that. He's not a Sergio Aguero. Give him a chance, he's going to score. But he gets involved in the build-up play as well, though, which is why I give him a blight. He's not a Michael Owen who just sits in the box and just waits for the yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. does come deep. He goes wide. He creates space. I think Benzema gets unfair criticism. He, do he does, but I have to be real, though. If you're Real Madrid, especially, yeah. I think, going into the new season, you need better than Benzema because I think... If you're got, think of what Barca have done to the league this season. I personally feel like you, Benzema don't do enough now. I think back in the day, you maybe could have that argument that he was sacrificing himself. And even though he's not now, I still don't think he's that type of striker that's going to win you the league. Remember, this is Real Madrid, you know. Yeah. They need like, they need Aguero, that type of striker. They need the the, the best, and I think yeah. Benzema's kind of gone over the hill now. As good as he is, I'm not Fair saying he's enough. dead or anything, but I think they need more than that, personally. Yeah. Kind of what you reckon? No, no, no Frenchman country nepotism no, going on I there? I don't really rate this Benzema. I've not rated him for a little while. And I just, I think, even though you're saying he was made a scapegoat, I think he was actually getting away with a lot because Ronaldo was scoring. Because Ronaldo was scoring, people were saying, oh, well, Benzema's sacrificing himself so Ronaldo can score. Now Ronaldo's goals have dried up. I don't think, I still haven't seen anything from Benzema. And as you were saying, if Real Madrid mm. are going to go far, they need a top goal scorer. Whether it's a winger who's a, a goal scorer or a striker, and Benzema is not that guy. Bell can't stay fit, and when mm. he is fit, he's he's inconsistent. It's like that front line of Real Madrid is not what it should be. Not for a team of that caliber. I know. I I, I can appreciate that, and I agree with that. I just think it's not fair that he's always made the reason. Anytime someone wants to criticise Real Madrid, they go, oh, it's because Benzema's shit. And I'm like, no, nah, that ain't fair. Yeah, yeah, because no, he's not that, shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 he's not there. But I just think for Real Madrid, they need better than that. They, I guess they, so. they, they need way better but than who that. would they actually get, though? Lewandowski. Lewandowski. He's on the way in himself. Yeah, but he's better than Benzema, yeah. bro. And I think if you give Lewandowski the same chances that Benzema has... I'll I don't know, man. At 30, 31, trying to adapt to a new league, new country, and he's already on the way down, it might be a yeah, catastrophe. To be fair, that Lewan is, I'd say, one of the most technically gifted strikers of his generation. Luka Jovic is another name that's yeah. been linked. He's been linked to yeah. Barcelona, apparently. Yeah. yeah, he's been linked to both, and he's, I rate him very highly. So. Yeah. He's, okay. he's in a ball at so Frankfurt. Saying, uh, he's too, too many choices there, right? But mm -hmm. we'll see. Maybe Frenchman to Frenchman, he, he'll be given another chance. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? He won't be sold, I don't think. Zidane okay. likes him. President okay. loves him. He's yeah. kind of lucky I still. I think they'll keep yeah. him President even if he him. doesn't start. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, let's talk about, you know, strikers and awards. Why not? Because there's been something happening in the media. Um, so apparently Raheem Sterling is snubbing Van Dijk for the Player of the Year award. <laughs> apparently, you know, Van Dijk voted for him, but he didn't return the same cousin. It's a bit of gossip. Come on, we need a bit of fun here. What do you guys think? Sterling's oh, a pussy. <laughs> I'll, start, I'll start off by saying Sterling as, <laughs> as a player, as a person, I have nothing but respect for Sterling. I think when, when he left Liverpool, I think the media did a horrible job with how they dealt with that. I don't think Brendan Rodgers helped the situation. I understand why he left Liverpool. I don't like the way he did it, but I fully understand mm. why he left. Him as a person is an ambassador for the game, but that doesn't make you the player of the season. And I think that's what's been happening. I think there's an agenda from the media mm. because they've messed him about so many years mm. and they've been called out on it finally. They're now pushing him mm. as the face of kicking out racism and also making him want to be the, the winner of this competition. Too. Mm. He's been good this season. Personally, I think Bernardo Silva's performed better than him. Mm. I think we're talking about Salah having a bad season. Salah's got more goals and assists. I think Mane's only got one less goal and assist in total. You've got Aguero who's 
top goal scorer. You've got Bamiyan who scored as many goals. And then obviously you've got Virgil who has transformed a terrible defence into being the best defence. So even Fernandinho. Fernandinho. Sterling though. isn't City's best he's player City. at all. No, he's he's not. he's not their best player, but he's, he's been one of their most effective players. Yeah, if that's that makes true. sense. When you look at the goals and assists, he's been absolutely amazing. I think for me personally, he's in the he's in the conversation, I think. But to say he should be player of the year, mm. I think is too far fetched. Now, going back to the original question about Van Dyke and him snubbing him, I think that's a piss take because <laughs> Van Dyke just said, to, you know what, I'm going to show Sterling some respect and, and pick, man. Sterling's like, oh, do you know what? Yeah, like, I don't even know. It's well, like, we, bro, we, come we, on, we man. We all know why that's happened, though, because he votes for Kane instead of Van Dyke. It's, 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 it's a tactical, tactical vote, vote, isn't it? And that's yeah. the reason why I said he's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be real with you. Like, I know, sorry for the language, but let's be real here. Yeah, everything you said about him as a person, no, nah, I, I got maximum respect for Sterling. Like he's been through some shit. They've dragged him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 I got nothing but love and respect for everything he's doing for black people, just for everything, like all of that. But I got to take my emotion out of it. If we're just talking about player of the year and the general thing. That's why I'm saying, like, mm. I don't care. That was a chief move. Yeah. You could have. You might as well have voted for Julian Lescott. Your vote is going to nothing. <laughs> you <laughs> voted Lescott. for Harry Kane. Who's ever going to vote for Harry Kane? That was a wasted vote. You did it on yeah, purpose. It yeah, was strategic. It's a tactical vote. You're that, on a dickhead that's, that's But that's why I rate Virgil, because Virgil was like... Because remember, they even come out in the papers like, oh, Virgil, did, they, Liverpool players didn't do the whole tactical thing. They actually just voted for the player that they just genuinely felt yeah. who deserved it. And it shows you what makes you a yeah, good person. Yeah, so if anyone want to try to say Liverpool are scumbags, go look at City and see what, how they're moving. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Too, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Look at the UFC moves that Fernandino was doing on Kane and everyone wants to come and talk about the <laughs> weird, yeah, weird yeah. team that they don't want to win because we're apparently the worst fans ever. Do you know what I mean? Man's giving man six to nine elbows, you know. <laughs> <laughs> elbows, six to nine, you know. Bro, bro. All right, okay. Um, well, we're speaking of, you know, people having to kind of deal with quite a lot within the media and also from fans and, and racial abuse. Um, one of the names that kept on popping up this week was Denny Rose as well, right? Because... Yeah. Um, well, he said, quote, it is an unfortunate thing what's happening now in football. So apparently he can't wait to quit football because of the way ra racism and racial abuse is being handled in the sport. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just want to get your thoughts on this. I mean, that's quite a statement. I mean, you're still a player and you, you're saying, like, I can't wait to get out of here yeah. because of this. It's quite you know sad. What? I very, feel for any upset. player that's, that's had any racial abuse like, on a mm -hmm. serious note because this has been going on for far too long. I think the FA don't know what to do personally. Like, you know how they're saying how, like, Danny Rose made a good point where he's like, you know, they will fine the club a certain amount of money. Danny Rose, th that type of money that they're, they're finding them, some players spend that in and out in a club. That's not going to do anything. Like, there needs to be, like, as I think, like, little things, not little things, sorry, big things where it's like, okay, if someone wants to be racial, you ban the stadium. Something, yeah, yeah. something that makes the players the fans of that club make them think we're never going to do it again. Yeah, yeah. Because if you keep doing these little yeah. little smack on the wrist, that's not going to stop anything. Mm. But I just think we're living in an era now where I, I feel like it's so sad to say I don't even know how racism is going to stop. Racism's, it, no, been, it, it won't, racism's been there from day one. It it's just stop. that what's happened is it's almost like because of social media, um, the way how, I, as I said, the treatment um, or the punishment, shall I say, hasn't been, been big enough. It's, it's not going to stop people from doing it. So I don't even know how to put a stop to it, but I just hope that people can come together and look at harsher punishments because until that happens, yeah. it's, it's sad to say. Um, imagine that a player wants to quit because he's been racially because abused so many... And remember, they're just talking about little incidences that they haven't even probably gone through how many times they've been yeah, racially yeah. abused. Pretty sure mm. we don't know. The yeah, there's a lot of players that have been racially abused. It's disgusting, yeah, but... I, I the the thing I would say to Danny, though, just keep your head up and don't let it bother you to the extent where you don't enjoy your job. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's be real. There's been a struggle that's gone on years before we even existed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, like, they didn't fight for all of that. Yeah. For yeah. us to, like, quit over what we're going through now. Mm. This is peanuts compared to what they had to deal with. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So just stay strong. Don't let them win. And try your hardest to just act like it's yeah. not happening. Because they're winning. They love hearing you say yeah. you don't want to play mm. anymore. That's what they want. They don't want you playing anymore. Yeah, but I, I, I agree with what you're saying, but you got to remember, he's talking about in his line of work. So it's like you being at work and someone's racially abusing you, 
but someone else is telling you on the other side, yeah, bro, we just gotta let it go. Do you see what I'm saying? There's a li- there is I a know, line I hear that, but because it's, it's in your bit, line of what it's, it's your, a little it's bit your... different when it's a career to a job, though. That's the yeah. thing because the career is the thing you've always strived for. Don't throw it away or be quick for it to be over. Yeah, yeah. It's not a job. Do you no, know no, no, what no. I, mean? I hear that. I hear it's that, a career. That's what everyone in yeah. in the world wants. I can a career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy it as much as you can and don't let these idiots ruin. No, no, no. Of yeah. course. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm just saying though. I, I, I must be, I can feel his frustration though, because... No, I, I get I, I, Imagine I get going that, to a yeah. workplace, like, bro, this imagine, is what I'm trying yeah. to say. And obviously it's slightly different because yeah. they are public figures. Yeah. So like, it's not like, it's necessary. It might not necessarily be right in front of their face. Yeah. But the fact that, that you're, you're, you're close enough to hear that, it's you're going to be getting riled up. Yeah, like. yeah, of course. And uh-huh. you know what it is as well? Sometimes I do get a bit, I can't lie, I'm going to be real. I, I get a bit annoyed when some, sometimes it's like, you just gotta let it go. No, you just gotta no. let it go. No, no. But nah. No, I'm sorry. Not let I think go anyone that gets racially abused, if you're pissed off and you wanna say something or you wanna fight back, not, not when I say fight back, I don't mean aggressive and fight. But you gotta you gotta speak up for what you believe in. And it, we shouldn't be tolerating that at all. And sometimes I do feel like it's a it's a case of people go, Oh, you know what, bro? We just gotta just let it slide. It's one of them. Th- yeah. No, I'm not letting it slide. Tell them. I'm not. The problem is the authorities. Mm. It's gotta be like you, you're getting players who get sent off or cautioned because they react to fans calling them or hurling racial abuse. Like, I'm sorry, but if I'm on the street and someone says something racial to me, I'm gonna say something back, and then that's like me getting arrested for it. Like, mm. what yeah. I'm meant to do? Just mm. take it on the chin. That's what I'm saying. The whole fine thing, that's stupid. Do you know how much millions these football nations or clubs are getting for you to give a 10 grand fine? That's like me, I don't know, graffiti on a wall and saying, and the police come and saying, you've got to give me a pound now. That's your slap on the wrist, that's a pound. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Pound, all right, cool, there you are. Like, it's mm. nothing. Yeah. Well, maybe we can only just hope that by players like Danny Rose who have the courage to speak up about this because this is an uncomfortable comment, right? It's an uncomfortable yeah. comment to make yeah, the media course, and, and for, for himself probably personally as yeah. well and this is it's disturbing and sad. Then we just hope that maybe this helps to, to move things along and maybe, you know, kind of put this issue more in the spotlight even and, and things get done about it. Maybe harder punishments, whatever, and people yeah. understand yeah, what it does bad. to people, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, Hopeful, thinkful. Yeah. Hopeful thinking. Um, right. Uh, quickly round this up. We started on the Champions League um, with Liverpool and whatnot. So let's round it up with Liverpool playing against Chelsea next oh, week. Boy. Is it oh, this weekend? <laughs> this Very weekend. Soon. This weekend. Sunday, All right. So guys, do you reckon uh, Eden Hazard is gonna bust it <laughs> and, and he's, gonna, he's gonna do it? What 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 are your thoughts? Uh, preview preview. Come on, give me um, give me a best shout. I'm nervous about the game. Why? Because Hazard only turns up against Tottenham, West Ham, and Liverpool in the season. He <laughs> <laughs> right. has a few good games here and there against your Brightons and Huddersfield, but predominantly those are the games where he turns up. I don't know what it is about coming and playing at Anfield, but I do know it's a beautiful ground. But exactly. It's the game he turns up for. And mm. Chelsea, it's not the fact that Chelsea want to stop us winning the league, Chelsea are also chasing top four. Mm. It's not like they're just kind of come and sit back and do what they did when Mourinho parked the bus and all that nonsense. They got a couple of lucky goals. They're going to come out and try and win the game as well or or get a draw. But I I think the key to Liverpool winning this game is I think the midfield three that started against Porto, Henderson, Fabinho and Keita, I think that has to start. I think Wijnaldum's been our best midfielder all season, but I think his form has slumped. Looking tired. Yeah, he looks Looking knackered tired. at the moment. Mm. And I think if you have Fabinho and Henderson, then you have two players who can cover the ground and then you can always double up on Hazard because I don't think you can leave Trent one-on-one with Hazard or you can have Hazard just roaming in the middle. No. So if you've got two players who where you can double up on him mm. and if you cut off Hazard, you cut off Chelsea. So you cut off Hazard, we got the other end and I think we can blitz these lot. All right, Matt. I have to agree with what he said because I think Hazard is their danger man. He's the one guy, as 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 Callum said, he's the one guy you fear. He's the one guy that you, I can't lie to you, you want on your team because he's yeah, that yeah. magical. And on his day, he's unplayable. I think of the game and I think to myself, both teams badly want to win. But the way how we've been playing this season, I think would just edge us over the line. And that's not taking anything away from Chelsea because... They could surprise us and still beat us at Anfield. They're that, they're that good on their day. They can beat anyone on their day. Let's not get twisted. Mm. But I just feel like 
at Anfield, we have a fortress. Like, that factor that we have, that, that kind of... That kind of fear factor that we have at Anfield, I don't think no one can really replicate that other than Man City, really. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, did Man City get beaten by Crystal Palace at home? Yeah. When when Townsend when Townsend packed in with his new haircut. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. So this is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna try as hard as they can. They are. But I think we will just beat them. We, okay. It's gonna be so. I think it's gonna be two one personally okay. for me. It's gonna Good. be close. Good shot, Drifty. How are you gonna survive that game? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck. 90 minutes of torture. I might even yeah. be there, which is going to make it even yes. harder to cope with. Great. Um, I'll be honest with you. I agree with what Callum was saying about trying to nullify Hazard. I feel like that's the key to the game. Um, the thing that worries me about the game, but also fills me with a little bit of hope, is what you're saying about them needing the win. I feel like when they came to Anfield and they didn't need a win, it meant they could do what they wanted and who cares what the outcome is. I think them needing a win might be a little bit of pressure that might help us because they can't just be like, oh, well, whatever happens, happens. They're like, no, nah, shit, we need a win. And then they might get nervy. They might start making mistakes. They might start overthinking. I think them coming into the game and not needing anything would be more scary. Okay. So I'm hoping that can work in our favour, plus the home form. The only thing that worries me is it doesn't matter if we don't lose because I don't think we'll lose the game. If we don't win, it's done. That's what worries me. A draw doesn't help anything yeah. here. So even though people are no, they won't beat us. Yeah, but we have to win. Yeah. It's irrelevant whether we draw the game mm. or that we don't lose. We have to win the game. Yep. That's have to win it. Famous last words. Ooh. It's every point counts for the last few weeks, right, in the Premier League. So can't wait to see it and we shall see what the outcome is. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. We shall all see you next week. And please do follow us on all the social media channels. Bye.